Hello everyone, how are you today? Good to see you again. So this is the 5th of May and this is on Wednesday. And this is not the live stream, but this is a video session. And because um, I got some appointments tonight in Japan time, so I decided to record a video before uh, the live schedule. So let me quickly pop up what time it is right now in UTC. So it looks like the euro uh, is uh, started to be trending. Looks like due to, due to uh, these uh, news uh, in, in the Spain, euro is currently sold. So this is currently at the uh, 7.48 UTC time zone. This is at 7.48 AM in UTC time zone on the May 5th. So let me see. Yeah, so before starting here, just a quick disclaimer. Uh, this information here is um, based on my own understanding experience. So when you take trades, please do with your own risk. As a quick dis disclaimer like this. Okay, so uh, let me talk about the Euro pairs. First, um, I would like to talk about the Euro CAD as this is also trending down euro is weak very uh, very much today and it's been down trending let me switch it to the daily chart and in the daily chart uh, the market is about to break the daily support line at this 1.72 um sorry 1.72 uh, four level it's about to break and i put this analysis on this uh my trading view account and there is a euro cad down trending by ichimoku and it's going it broke the support on this four hour chart and it's going down now yeah it just broke the support line downwards and looks like this is continuous downtrend so we can continuously look for the sell chance on this one actually i'm on the sell right now i'm selling it uh i sold it a couple of minutes ago if we can uh, show this uh, MT5 yeah so this was exactly where I placed a sell this is in 15 minute time frame and my stop loss is a uh, 16 pips above and I'm running the about like a 12 or 13 pips of uh, running profit at the moment and I'm waiting for the timing for the break even line but looks like the euro is weak right now so that's why uh, all the euro pairs are trending and I will be talking about these euro pairs today. So euro cad is heading towards the uh, recent support line on the daily chart which is uh, once again at this uh, 1.4724 level so um, this still looks to be downtrending so until the market reaches there we can continuously look for the buy chance uh, and in terms of Ichimoku lines here, in the daily chart it's flat, but if you look at the 4, it started started to be downtrending. Exactly after this uh, breakout, the Senko Span B down, A down, and Kijun Sen down, Tenkan Sen down at the moment, and the Chikou Span below the candles too. So this is a nice and stable downtrend confirmation in this case. And even if you look at the 1 hour chart, this is also going down. So you can look for the edge to sell. If I'm newly looking for the edge, at this timing right now, um, in terms of the price actions and couple of confirmations, um, I took uh, so I took the sell over here, and that was due to the dip crossing 15 and also band walking, and uh, the support breakout, and that was a great sell chance. But um, you can also look at the 15 and in the 15 minute time frame there was a dead cross previously and the market has been sloping down along with the, uh, this uh, band walking deviation 1, 2 trending downwards so as long as it goes down we can continuously look for the sell chance uh, the stochastic might be gold crossing and it might dead cross again so if that's at the pullback and pushback like this and if you see this uh, dead cross at that timing, I would say that that will be another great setting edge. So uh, yeah, like this, uh, 
you better confirm these uh, trading edges in lower time frames and what I usually do is um, I place the stop loss previous high. In this case, the previous high is at uh, this weak high. I see the doji candlestick over here and I would in this case place a stop loss above the weak high on this 5 minute chart so that if I place a sell at the moment then uh, the risk of a trade or stop loss is going to be only 19 or 20 pips of um, stop loss which is relatively tighter and uh, we can expect the market downtrending as long as forward chart is going down and uh, until the daily support um, it can go down still so uh, this is one of the examples of uh, the market is to be downtrending and looking for the chance to sell in this case so that's the EuroCAD yeah but once again in the daily chart this is still flat in Kumo Kumo Senko Span A is slightly moving down but the Kijun Sen flat and Chikou Span still touching and Chikou Span at the moment on the daily chart has been tracing the past candles so from these reasons the market might be supported at this uh, previous candles and the Chikou Span might trace as the market retraces backwards this way so I don't think this trend will live long I think it's gonna be a very short term trend until the previous support and it might be trace backwards and if that's the case I will simply exit but if the market continues to be downtrending after the break of the support line then for sure I will keep trading the profits along the way so that's the EuroCAD so once I set the break even line then I will look for another selling edge on this particular pair or I might be looking at some other pairs to be to, to take trades so other one that I'm watching right now is the Euro USD. The Euro USD in forward chart, uh, it started be to started to be downtrending. The Kumo Sen Kospan B down, A down, and Kijun Sen Tenkan Sen down too, and Chikou Span below the candles too, and it broke the support line recently downwards too. At this 1.19990 level, it broke downwards. So the market can go down until the next support level which is at the week low from uh, 19th April which is at 1.1942 level this looks to be a bearish downtrend and it can go it can go towards that level in this downtrend but one thing here is that the Kijun Sen is still in the Kumo so um, in this case, uh, it might be trace backwards anytime soon until the Kijun Sen comes out of the Kumo. But with that in mind, we can look for the sell chance. And in one hour chart, this is nicely downtrending. In one, after the Kumo twist, um, it has been stable down Kumo. So that means that this is a stable downtrend in the long term in one hour chart. And the Senko Span B down, A down. Kijun Sen, Tenkan Sen both downwards and Chikou Span below the candles too. So after this support breakout, it might retest, but if it still be resisted by this uh, Kijun Sen, then um, the market can go down this way, all the way down to the, uh, the support level on this uh, daily time frame. So this is another good one to watch, the continuously watch the still chance. And also, um, let me look at a couple of other Euro pairs. Uh, Euro AUD looks to be ranging in one hour chart, so never want to touch this one. In four hour chart, this is also ranging. And on the daily chart, this is also ranging too. It's too spiky in this condition. So although Euro is weak today, um, this is not the good market to be in to sell. And other one is Euro Pound. Euro Pound is also ranging in the daily chart or Kumo flat, Kijun Sen flat. And in terms of forward chart, this started to be downtrending. But still, the Kumo is too tiny. When you see Kumo very tiny like this, the market can retrace backwards anytime soon. And Kijun Sen, Tenkan Sen are also in the Kumo. So that means this is still um, part of 
the range. Uh, this is down reversing the waves, but uh, it might be triced backwards anytime soon. So better be careful on this one if you are setting it. And also the Euro JPY uh, in the daily chart, this is still uptrending because the Kumo is up. In the long term, Kumo is up. Mid term, Kijun Sen is also pointing upwards. And Chikou span above the candles. So today it's been bearish on this Euro JPY, but as a whole, this is bullish. So we can still expect the market goes up on the bullish new wave like this way and expect a breakout of the previous resistance level. However, in lower time frames, for example, like in one hour chart, this is downtrending. This is against the daily time frame trend. So in this case, we have to be careful. Uh, once again, the market might be supported at the previous support level in one hour chart and it might be traced backwards anytime soon. So from these reasons, uh, this is also not really a good timing to buy or sell at the moment. I would wait for the, in this support breakout at this 131.14 level. Once it breaks, then I will look for the sell chance or once it breaks and retest, then better to look for the sell chance. Until then, it might be supported and goes upwards and it might break the Kuma upwards too. And the reason is because in the daily chart, this is still uptrending. So this is a multiple time frame analysis on these euro pairs. So make sure which way the price is going in different time frames. And if you're not familiar with these multiple time frames, then um, you better take the daily chart by Ichimoku. And um, once you get used to it, then you can look at the lower time frames to see more details in the market. So lastly, let me check the Euro Swiss Fran. The Euro Swiss Fran daily chart is still ranging too. Uh, Kumo is flat, Kijun Sen Tenkan Sen flat and they're in the Kumo and the candlestick is exactly in the Kumo too. So this is ranging in the daily chart. In terms of forward chart, this is also uh, retracing backwards and it's flat so this is not really a trending pair so among these euro pairs at the moment i will focus on the euro cad and also uh, euro usd i think these are two good pairs to be in yeah euro pound is also nice euro pound is also nice but uh it's just that the Kijun Sen Tenkan Sen are in the Kumo, so it might be traced backwards anytime soon. The Kumo is too tiny in forward chart. And also, in terms of the Euro JPY, once it breaks the support at this 131.14, then that will be a sell in lower time frames. And we, we can expect the market breaks the Kumo in the forward chart and it will become a Sanyaku Gakuten signal and we can expect the market continue to be downtrending afterwards. So, yeah, hopefully uh, you enjoyed today's video session. So, uh, yeah, today's uh, still in the beginning of uh, the month and uh, we have a big news, big event today in the US. Let me quickly touch on that one, we have the uh, ADP report, ADP employment ch change in the US and this can impact the market. So when you are dealing with the USD pairs, currencies or gold or something related to USD currency, um, you better be careful today. And also later on there will be another um, report here, ISM services, PMI will be here too in the US. So just watch out on these USD pairs today is my advice. Until you go over these news, hopefully if you're taking trades, then you set the break even. Otherwise, you come back to chart after these news or tomorrow will be recommended. Yeah, briefly touching the currency strength chart uh, today. Uh, at the moment, the euro is weak, the euro is the red line and it's going down. So it's, it shows weak euro right now. 
Looks like New Zealand is quite strong at the moment, and Swiss franc is also very weak today. And uh, USD at the moment is kind of weak, and pound is also getting weaker now. So, yeah, looks like we have some new trends in the market finally after this ranging April. So, uh, hopefully, we, we catch some trends this week and this month of May, and we become a non losing. To profitable trader in the long run okay so once again thank you for watching this video session everyone until the end if you liked today's video session please press the good button and please subscribe and click the bell button so that you get notified as I do these video sessions or live streams every day in different topics so yeah I will be uh, making some calls and uh, yeah I will be uh, meeting uh, with uh, one of my old friends uh, here in Japan so uh, or meeting not physically but I will be meeting with him by zoom so uh, that will be an interesting conversation he was the one actually who introduced uh, the flex trades for myself he was a past colleague and I don't think he takes he takes trades anymore but it's been a while since we talked last time I think it's been like uh, like uh, three years or so since we talked last last time so yeah I feel a bit nervous and also I feel excited to meet with him again by zoom session so so that's why this this uh, this way this was the recorded video but hopefully you enjoyed it and I will see you on the next one so until then please stay healthy and stay gold bye for now matane thank you i say matane and that means see you in japanese so i say matane bye for now